tir actually is in a is a very in depth thing yeah so people take ages to complete a tafsir of one surah people take 3 3 4 4 years i was re- listening to noman ali khan recently and he said i'm doing class 4 years on surah baqarah i still thinking i'm a student so we can't really do one justice in one day to one juice so what we are going to do is a bird's eye view means over or whatever it is yeah so uh, we are going to talk about juice by juice today we are going to talk a little bit more about the introduction of surah baqarah the idea for the girls young girls for you all is and as well as us to first of all to motivate and have a curious brain towards quran because right now what we are doing is exactly like christians and jews that they they used to go to their priests to ask about their holy bible or you know um whatever what we are doing is at the moment is exactly the same so we are going to our imam if we have any question we ask them okay imam tell me about this issue and imam no criticism to imam but might be he has less knowledge or might be he is in his own brain set and mindset and he tells us whatever while allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given this quran to all of us we all have one quran set of quran in our homes do we the all qurans have the same script so we can't say actually sister arfa has the other script than mine the writing is the same allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep on asking us to open the quran there is there is there is signs in this book this is hidayah this is this this is that. but we don't normally open so idea of this this quran tafsir class is just for us to encourage and inshallah hopefully by the at least by just two i'm hoping that you will be having kind of that inquisitive brain i'm running the same class in the morning in school but what i'm the first lesson the the whole class was pin drop silent i was thinking i'm talking to myself and nobody is understanding so i was like oh my god is it going anywhere but by today when i came back they all were there they all were listening asking the questions everything and i'm telling you i'm not expert i'm just as student as you all are so maybe i will be learning from you as well so you will ask a question none of us will know we'll go do the research we'll come back and talk about that and that's also a very important thing for girls all of you i want you just to to start talking to this quran basically to open start start reading so that you can understand what quran is saying and the the main thing let's go back to the contract we are going to the word big contract is there okay yes uh, because of the young girls yeah please explain what is the quran. oh very because important of the young girls yeah okay so do you have you ever heard maybe the lay mums have heard the word muhammad peace be upon him is going to be our shafi do you know that yeah. very normally we all say that when inshallah hopefully when we are going to die on the day of judgment our prophet peace be upon him is hopefully going to say that please save my ummah this is my ummah yeah that's yeah, we yeah. believe yeah. we never thought about it, and it's a hadith and i hopefully whenever i'm going to quote the hadith i'm going to quote the hadith which is kavi based on the six authentic books so there is a hadith where quran is mentioned as intercessor intercessor in the grave so we'll go on the day of judgment later on the first bi- first step is grave yeah and we don't know how many years we'll stay in this grave no idea but when i'm going to go in grave and the first three questions and then the grave starts shrinking tighten up tighten up tight and that's where our prayers come in and they try to save us if we will be inshallah hopefully praying five times a day and then quran will come as an intercessor he he will be saying go good lord please this, this, this is a person who used to recite me every day or you know and this is the, the so the importance of quran is very important yeah okay the difference between okay so the when we talk about quran it's a writing from allah subhanahu it's a speech it's a dialogue of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to us he's mm-hmm. talking to us yeah. we don't bother don't think because don't open this yeah. language is a barrier definitely yeah it could be in english much more easier but then we have the translations and we say oh different translation have different uh, script but actually the main main essence is the same so you find out the easiest version there are a lot of versions available like noble quran and this and that the other 
start reciting yeah uh, so start reading from english translation girls especially for you it's the most easiest i'm i'm pretty sure you all will be a good readers i'm hoping some of you have done the i don't know how many harry potter uh, uh, uh publishing what is the word the books has been published till now i'm sure some of you have gone through all of them and the hundred you know hunger game and this and that the other so maybe find out the time in your life to start building up this also like that much more important this is much more important but nevertheless we need to give out the time in our life yeah going back to the contract that's exactly what we are going to do so let's talk about so why i'm talking about the contract and normally sister circle we don't have the contracts but because i'm a teacher maybe that's why but also because i want you from this lesson picking up some practical aspects yeah mm -hmm. so when we'll go home inshallah this is what prom my promise to myself but my promise um, i want all of us to promise and say inshallah mm -hmm. and that yeah. i one result one ayah oh and girls if you never you know bothered to open and never never had the habit don't go for a day maybe one week one ayah that's very simple mm -hmm. one ayah one mm -hmm one line one ayah just just try that yeah and then for next week we will be having a homework also this is also going to be happened in this um class that when you will be going back from here for next seven days you will have enough time uh, and my quran trans english translation is very small this much and it has 36 pages for just one yeah so it's like literally english book 36 pages flip it that's it so you will be inshallah completing one juice in english yeah. so when you will be doing so then you will be having a reinforcement oh auntie nazisha said this thing oh yeah 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 this ayah is coming because otherwise this this circle has no uh authenticity because when you will be going home you will be just put it away yeah but when we will be reading it will be it will be making sense and actually what i'm speaking is not the rare words what allah is speaking that's a divine scripture so we need to understand the divine scriptures not me i'm i'm just a human being yeah and i can make million mistakes as well i also pray that uh, that this is going to be guidance for all of us mm -hmm. and whatever come good is from Allah's hadayah and whatever comes back may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive me and I was when I started the first day in the school I was very shaking I was nervous because in my life whatever I have done so far like uh, running a school or whatever I give the responsibilities to others so I say it's a it's a it's a group effort and obviously whatever we will be accountable on the day of judgment hopefully we all will be together but this obviously I'm doing with all of your help but when i'm speaking i'm hoping that i'm not saying anything which is wrong yeah so it's it's a lot of responsibility okay from here whatever we will be going from today we'll try to add practically one aspect in our life which we don't do normally like for example last week when i was explaining just one I realize that hypocrites, and you will understand, there is a lot of hypocrites signs in Surah Baqarah. So one of the hypocrite signs is they never been thankful about food. Mm -hmm. Whatever food they have, they have given mono salva da 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 da. They don't bother, yeah. And I realize that although I never left in my plate anything, Alhamdulillah, maybe in childhood, but not anymore. But I never said the thanks to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how much he has the right to say thanks to so that was for me but what you take in i don't know so for you all especially girls i want you to take in along with you something and reflect that this is what i want to take in with me for this and small thing very small thing could be making difference yeah remember if you will go one step towards allah Allah will be taking 10 steps towards you, remember. Mm -hmm. And also there is another hadith where a Holy Prophet has been asked, how do we know how many, how much Allah feel closer to us and Allah remember to us? And a Holy Prophet said, how much you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in, in a day? That's exactly how you remember, yeah, mm -hmm. to you. So you need to remind yourself that how much you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remember you and feel closer to you, yeah? And another thing, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has 99 mm -hmm. quality names. Yeah, you all know. 
So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given all the quality names to all of the human being. And whenever we ask from, like for example, we ask for Allah's love and this and this, Allah give everything to a human being. What he doesn't give is hidayah until we will not ask. Will not ask, will not get. Yeah. So that's one thing we need to ask. Yeah. And humbly ask because sometimes people get the hidayah and then they change. So that's also we need to remember that we need, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the hidayah till the death. Yeah, inshallah. Okay, and the last part of the contract, we will complete our homework. That's for only one student, Arfa Babi. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay. Inshallah, we'll try our best. We all will be, inshallah. I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, so we are going to start from um, week one, Surah Fatiha. Whatever is going to be written in red, by the way, is going to be your homework or something to talk about today. Yeah, Surah Fatiha. I'm going to go very quickly the snapshot. The reason is because the reason why we are talking about Surah Fatiha as snapshot because normally, especially as ladies, we whenever Ramadan come, we always join one either WhatsApp group or sister circle or something. We go for the first lesson. Oh, we are here. Here, Surah Fatiha completed Surah done Fatiha completed. and then we'll never go back to that so I thought Surah Fatiha more or less us ladies I kind of know yeah and children if did you didn't maybe you can try in Ramadan again but this is something we all know uh, okay so one thing obviously Surah Fatiha is the most used commonly used script in the entire world nevertheless for the Muslim for the whole world the reason is because no script has been used five times in a day for so many rakas yeah so uh, for girls for you to research is find out how many times we read in a day so maybe that's a research for you don't google around right now do it in your own time but maybe you need to find out how many times we do surah fatiha so next week homework is for you girls to find out the answer yeah okay so now uh, first surah which has been okay so they are a lot of surahs surah, which has been uh, revealed in full volume like all together but that this was the very first surah which has been revealed as a full all together in one go Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. yeah and tell me this give you a clue is it a maki surah or is it a madani surah then because obviously this yeah, is the first one ever uh, revealed so it's a maki surah yeah and um so that, that they, they are love names of this surah other than surah fatiha and it uh, let's show, let me take out first that part. okay so it's it's called as the opener yeah uh fatha then we say it's re um, it has umul kitab so it's a mother of the book the name itself say it say alhamd or asala so because of the prayer it's a call asala is a it's a, a surah called shifa it means the cure why because uh you know uh, maybe some of you know word ruqya sometimes people when they are ill this is a, a, a spiritual way to do that so one part of that ruqya is surah fatiha yeah um it has seven ayahs so obviously we, can read, we can read inshallah yeah how many times seven at least seven. Seven. okay um uh, then we have okay so so what surah fatiha is it, if you read that really beautiful dialogue between between a human being a mm -hmm. servant and the master mm -hmm. yeah with the most beautiful psychological way written and Allah knows us because he created us. He knows our psychology. So what it is saying first, it's almost like a child asking from mom, mom, I want a mobile, but you are so beautiful, mom. You are amazing, mom. I love you so much, mom. Can I have a mobile? And so can you see that? that, that so, so, so it's almost like the way a child is asking mom, it's, it's much more beautiful written as, as a, a servant asking to the Lord, yeah. So when uh, we say Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, Rahmani Rahim, Maliki Omidin, so Allah first is talking about His greatness, yeah, His Rahman, His Rahim. And by the way, when we talk about the Rahma of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, Allah has hundred. If we talk about a hundred percent of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala as the Rahma. His only one percent of Rahma is in this dunya, which we can see, yeah. The other all 
is he saved it for day of judgment because if he give that all here we might will be end up in jannah in any way so he wanted that for that day because none of us are saved for that day so he is going it's only his rama will will which will be hopefully saved us yeah so so um so he talk about his rahman he talk about him rahim but then he does not want us to lay back completely so for example again i'm going to give you an analogy a teacher is saying mm, you're amazing student you did so well but you know that mock test is coming so keep your you know uh, uh, put together so what he, she's saying she's giving the compliment but she's backing up with the not being complacent yeah yeah so that's exactly psychology of human being is so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first talk about malik rahman rahim but then all of a sudden he's like maliki yawmiddin so i am oh. holding the justice yeah so you need to look after that so you can't just lay back and just sit together and then and then the, when he talked about himself maliki yawmiddin iya kan a'budu iya kan astain and then all of a sudden now dialogue of from allah to human being so we are talking about allah we are we are worshiping you yeah so we are really people who are doing all of it please give us the rahma please save us please give us the hadaya so all of a sudden we come to this humbleness to ask for the guidance and we are saying allah please give us the right guidance don't put us to the people who are dolin on who are astray so first we are praising him and then we are talking about what we need from him what we want to get from him yeah so what we are what we what in this sura the essence of why thinking about okay i want this this quran um, sister circle as a very interactive so you tell me why this sura is the beginning of the sura quran could be any other sura because it hasn't been revealed in this way by the way mm. because re- revolution is not this one sura alaq was the first yeah, one yeah? The first one, yeah but this is the compilation way but obviously with the word of god it has been done but tell me um tell me why Fa- surah fatiha why only surah fatiha because this name of opener is could be because it's fatiha a mean is opener isn't it yeah, yeah. it's a op- it's a opening statement opening. it's the opener but also if you think about the last words and then all of a sudden started surah baqarah this makes all sense because that's where we are saying please give us the hadaya and don't put us in the people of the people who are astray and all of a sudden saying alif lam mim dalik al kitab ul la raiba fi hudal lil muttaqin so i'm going to give you the hidaya if you are going to be muttaqi so answer is there so yeah. there is we are we are asking something and surah fatiha allah said i'm giving you the hadaya if you ask for that yeah so it's a very beautiful link between surah baqarah and it's a joiner almost to, to give the answer so this is this is the beauty of this surah yeah any question till now no okay this surah is also a dua if you read it's a dua yeah completely a dua and with about the dua i've learned really recently we all know maybe we all know no let's talk about when we read recite quran do you know how many blessings hasanas we get for each alphabet girls 10 10 yeah we all know that 10 hasanas with each alphabet of arabic think about alif lam mim 30 all together and then you know each one but when we talk about dua we actually i did not know until recently that we allah said 100000 hasanas oh, is written with one dua Subhanallah. Subhanallah. never knew that i thought oh wow and then even allah said oh servant if you will be understanding when i'm not accepting your duas it will be on the on the uh, in the paradise will be putting as a gold and more gold and silver like more than gold and silver and, and when you yeah and when you will be reach there you will be saying i wish none of my duas are accepted and i will get this so can you believe it if i am asking the dua if not acceptable then i am in success if acceptable then even i am su- successful so success both ways a dua a simple any dua such a beauty 
and Bible why allah give me the designer thingy oh allah give me everything anything dua is dua, anything everything is dua mm-hmm. for the for the goodness for me i'm not saying oh allah please this is, this is, this is, yeah allah they are taking a dasana suit but this is dua, dua. yeah whatever yeah but dua, dua is dua. with the with the good niya with the good niya yeah don't dua. take auntie's suit away but give yeah, me yeah, something <laughs> yeah so the the uh, so the good dua can take you to such a beautiful and i i was thinking why and then i realized because allah loves us asking dua mm. that's the That's the link between me and my Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. It doesn't need a Quran dua necessarily. It could be I'm just sitting and I'm saying, Allah, I want that, and it's just just me. Like you are the mothers, maybe understand that. You know, especially teenagers, moms. Yeah, when t- children know what's happened, nothing. What is today, nothing. Oh. Did we do nothing? <laughs> and you be like, I wish they can ever talk to me. Yeah. Doesn't it happen? Okay. Yeah. Um. So, uh, so exactly what. Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala is asking from the servant that sit down ask ask something i'm there you will lis- i will listen to you for for sure and the one of the hadith is the beauty the importance of dua the sorry not important the main pillar of dua is trust on Allah so trusting on Allah is the basic of it so you can't really say i don't know whether i'm allah is going to listen to me or not because you are not sure and he is the um, creator he can do anything anything so and you you might have heard the miracle miracles happening in the world so so you, you need to trust blindly yeah and if he is not going to listen there must be a reason behind it which we don't know any question till now no okay as i said the first lesson was quite me talking there as all well. Okay. Uh, okay, girls for you to go with is what lesson did you learn? How can you apply in this Yeah? And what can you when can you read this surah? Yeah? Mm-hmm. When else can you read this surah beside the uh, prayer time? Okay? Perfect. Let's do it. Okay. Now we are going to go to surah Baqarah. Okay, surah Baqarah, let's talk about what is um bakara about what is the name bakara means by the oh, way oh. the cow and why it's mentioned because the uh, from one one thing i want to tell you actually this is also very interesting fact which i never knew i thought maybe the name of the surahs are also divine they are not divine yeah so the uh, surahs are divine yeah divine means sending directly to allah subhanahu wa taala names are not divine names are actually given to the surahs because of the one of the reason the or chapter, the main the, the chapter, chapter the so for example Uh, by prophet and the sahabas obviously okay. yeah so so let's say for example i'm reading a book and i'm not sure of that book and i will say okay i will call this book as this yeah mm-hmm. so something like that uh, so this is not divine obviously so bakara is obviously because the one of the cha- main topic is mentioned with the um, reference of jews around the cow which we are going to uh, discuss in a minute Okay, this is the largest surah. We all know that, and sometimes aunties go in Ramadan and complete this surah as well, or half of the surah as well. Uh, this is also part of the rukia again, healing power. Um, uh, there is a lot of blessing of this had, uh, surah in the hadith, and uh, one of the blessing is that um, um, Allah, Holy Prophet peace be upon him, said that the surah Baqarah and surah Al Imran. is they are very important part of this um part of the quran yeah and unless the holy prophet used these name th- these two as zahara wine so zahara wine are illuminating lights so he, he's according to him they are illuminating lights they are glowing up lights but then he preferred this one he said then by the way bakara is better than al imran and he said if you will not read this if you will leave this yeah mean leave this means don't read it recite it more often you will be in hasara so hasara means you will be sad really depressed so you will be going in depression mm-hmm. so it's, it could be a kind of an antidepressant for us yeah so it's a it has a good healing power uh, so and then holy prophet in another hadith said shaitan run away from any house where surah baqarah is being recited 
So yeah, so it's very important for us to recite Surah Baqarah. It doesn't mean that another Surah would be less important than this one, but each Surah has their own importance, yeah? Okay, so this Surah has why? They, uh, uh, these are the facts. Um, how many ayahs and this and that uh, verses are 286, yeah? And this is a Madani Surah. Uh, eventually, inshallah, more you will go in, in the Surah's uh, re recitation or understanding. You will come to know... Um, which one is Maki, which one is Madani, you can identify that. Because Maki surahs are more talking about straight on the shirk, believer, non-believer, mm -hmm. that, that kind of thing, yeah? While we are talking about Madani, they are talking about believers, non-believers, and hypocrites. And can you guess why hypocrites has been introduced in Madani? Uh, there used to be a lot of Jews in Madina, and Jews are like uh, very prominent in their democracy. Yeah very famous for that also yeah and also not only that that's right but also between the muslims also so in the beginning for example this today lesson or i'm talking joking about ramadan first class we always are very motivated we will be doing it da 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 first time auntie nazic has given his study so mommy we can't do it we are doing just one and then the slowly so that the, 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 the motivation goes away hopefully inshallah not in this case but that's human nature isn't it yeah. So what happened is the Makkah time was drill on Muslims, Muslims, Muslims. I want to be a Muslim. So there was a kind of a spark buzz in the world. And then they went in Medina and they have got that settled down, got some property, comfortable, comfortable yeah. life. Insars has shared. So Insar were the people who were native in Medina. Thank you very much to all of you because I am learning as well and I'm for going through a lot of research. I'm learning new things. So Hazrat Umar radiallahu ta'ala, no, think about this is the one of the Ashura Mubashra, the 10 people, girls who have been blessed of Jannah while they were alive. Wow. Can you believe it? So 10 people who have been given this graduation ceremony, you don't need to do anything. You are given the Jannah. In their life. In their lives. Oh my God, we have to... Die first, then go from the Alame Bazakh, then go from <laughs> Jannah. <laughs> and then, <laughs> n n not sure. So, this ha was Hazrat Umar, the second caliph. Uh, can you, can you um, write it? Down? So, second caliph. And he used to be. He used to say that I am so afraid that I might end up, I might will be considered in hypocrites list. Mm -hmm. So he used to say, and the people used to say, but you are given Jannah in this dunya. How can you? And he said, but that's the sign of the hypocrite that he considered himself Muslim. But he is a hypocrite, actually. And we all say we are Muslim. But who we know? Because we are, our trust on Allah is very weak. Our belief on Allah is very shaky. We we say, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. But then our world, life, how it goes, kind of our script doesn't follow it through. So Hazrat Umar said, that's the, that's the time. He, this human being call himself Muslim, but then his practical approach is completely opposite. And that's consider himself, that's make him hypocrite. So my fear is that Allah will not add me in the, yeah. So, so always, always pray from Allah, Allah, please consider me as a believer accept me as a believer because my biggest loss is that i will go in front of allah and i will say you run the madrasa because you are showing off you did this you will be doing this quran the seer class you would do that and i would be nothing and i will be just empty-handed so this this all is whatever way whichever intention you will you have brought uh, whatever intention has brought you here that needs to be pure in order to do anything so if um we have come for socialization good luck to socialization but that will not serve us if we have come to do something else because our fabhab is food amazing so that's that's good for our tummy but not for them yeah so whatever it is it has to be so when people came from Akka to medina sahabas went to holy prophet and he said they said you know the holy prophet we left everything in Makkah. Think about whole house. Every, only I think immigrants can understand that yeah. Pe yeah, feeling. He said, every, we left everything. But have you seen this, this and this? He came, he got the wife, he got the property. He got So he was poor there. He was better off here. So, um, so Holy Prophet said, the deed of every base is intention. Okay. So if your intention is right, you, so if I made a good intention, and this is also Rahmah of Holy Prophet, um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
so if i make a good intention i died just now my intention is already written yeah my 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 ghasana is written as it is but if i am doing a bad i am thinking of a bad thing not written until i will do yet not written allah will give me 10 second 10 sa so 10 seconds to rethink reevaluate so as long as i haven't killed the person and i say oh sorry by the way i have killed you oh no hey let me try again that would not happen but let's say let's say if i'm just if i've done something wrong i feel let's say i i like uh, nazia's mobile i just nick it and she doesn't know and then i not bad let's put it back so it's not written 10 seconds i ask forgiveness from allah and that's it however the people the way they are rights of human being let's say for example i slander against you sister that's until i will not ask forgiveness from you it's not being forgiven so allah's rahmah is so amazing that your intention is considered as it is so my sister passed away most of you know um, last year and she made a will and in her will that was a verbal will so no authentic uh, background but she said few things which was about very charitable thoughts she had shared with us and it was all audio recorded not obviously um, again authentic legally but i'm hoping that her intention is written that she wanted this to be charity she wanted that to be charity she wanted not happening that's not her fault she died she died just like that but this is the thing and interesting enough she just said two weeks before her death which was shocking strange as uh, as it is but that's the thing we need to make intention and not waiting for the death day and i'll say by the way let's write down because i'm dying the, allah will not give us the time to think about it and then one of the thing um why i'm here is because that was a wake-up call for me as well so sometime things happen which are really sad in our life is enough for us to shake that look your time doesn't need to be coming like old age as we think mm -hmm. maybe tomorrow one of us yeah. is not here and we think about it as us going uh, before actually my mom is alive so yeah. not necessarily that is the thing yeah young people can go by so, sleeping some people they don't wake up so that's the thing we need don't need to have that wake up call we don't need to lose somebody to to do that we have to do be and thinking about what else and especially for you children because you are little you think that um first mommy and daddy will go and then no first grandparents will go then grandma no that's not happening yeah okay we as i said it's a snapshot a sh a shot of the whole surah fatiha at the moment i'm doing so this is the last revealed verse of the quran so this is also in, so, so surah Baqarah has a lot of important parts yeah so this is the surah ayah which is saying fear the day when you shall be returned to allah that each soul shall be paid what it has earned and they shall not be wronged so this was the last ayah ever been revealed uh, to holy prophet and this uh, also oh, in surah that was the last one that's the last one yeah okay uh, ayatul kursi how many of you know children uh, yeah girls yeah okay so um so and also one of the homework again write down uh, if you have not learned it let's learn it yeah and i'm not asking you by next week if you haven't learned all of it maybe in two weeks time okay why ayatul kursi is so important because it's right under the th throne from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it has the essence of all the qualities summarized together of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is one of the ayah and it take only 13 to 15 second to read this yeah. Surah, yeah 13 to second 15 second so if you will recite a holy prophet hadith is if you will recite every fard prayer there will be nothing stop you to go in general so for example uh, sorry I'm, like i'm an old woman it will take it, it take more like, than 15 only, seconds uh -huh. of course of course so, by sure uh, allah like, taala print introduction kara rahe hain in this ji uh, of course yeah yeah and girls who is good in mathematician ma maths who is going to tell me how many minutes it will take 15 multiplied by 5 quickly let's do it 15 multiplied by 5 16 no. <laughs> <laughs> any idea 
15 multiplied by 5. <laughs> Who said 60? <laughs> Nazia, Nazia is still in Algernon Academy. She's rounding up. 60, rounding up. 75. So, 1 minute and 15 second. 1 minute and 15 second of the day give us the guarantee to go in Jannah. So, I, I believe Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just give like that. Please pick up anything. Okay, you can't do this. Do this. Can't do that. that do. do something, please. Do something. Yeah. Do the dua. Kuch nahi to dua hi kar lo mujhse. Baatin kar lo is taan baat ke. Yeah. Some people, you try to tell them, ye padho, kuch sunte hai, kuch nahi, they don't, and auntie coming back to ek ek drop se hi aista aista katre katre se cheeze change hoti hai na ek baat aur dusra baat ye ke um, i always believe on this thing and that's why uh, one of the part of the contract which i haven't mentioned is um lakum dina kum aliya din your din is your din and my din is my din yeah so um, and that's why i don't talk about and hopefully in this also whole um, all sessions we are not going to talk about school of thoughts because why we need to go in the uh, in differences why can't we just talk about mean what holy prophet brought and what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given as a divine script so we we We'll, we'll try and we hope, hope is that people will change, inshallah, hopefully. When you see your children and you feel bad, then, then they don't need for the, our old children, yeah. then you feel a lot inside. Yeah. You know what Allah is saying to us, but they're not falling. You feel sad. As a mother. You, as, yeah. a mother. As, a mother. as a mother. Me too. I feel okay, sad. Okay, because yes, you're yeah. telling them, mm -hmm. koro, koro, then we know that can i give you an example auntie to give you hope because i work a lot with the, the mothers and well, well the parents and one of the things we all feel is guilt that why this is not happening what we want but then i i go back to has a new story 950 years plus he is a prophet he yeah prophet. Mm, we are not even in, equal not to his feet yeah no. what kind of teaching I can give you the preaching he had, the the love of God, the taqwa he had. How many how many people he has made Muslims? Handful, really. His own son was not believer. And no. his own uh -huh. wife. His was own not wife. Believer. Yeah, his own wife. Now coming back to Holy Prophet, what an amazing preacher he was. Went to Taif. What happened? People were hitting yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. So then that gave us the hope that we can only try the hadaya come from up there. I am bringing up two children together and alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah so far they are right on the track. But I can only go that much. The hadaya comes from there. Yeah. Let's go back to the, uh, to, uh, to the Surah, Fat, uh, Surah Bakara side. Okay, so let's go to the next one. So again, this is coming in so a second para, but I want to introduce that. So one of the part which is really mentioned for good few pages in Quran is uh, the change of Qibla. Uh, do you know the history of the change of Qibla? G direction girls? Or can I introduce you a little bit? So we used to... Uh, yeah, we never had Kaaba as our actual Qibla in the beginning. So Holy Prophet used to pray from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give Kaaba as um, our Qibla. Maybe he anticipated that it could be a bigger but, uh, problem, bigger issue. Jisko beta samay nahi lag rahi hai, bilkul haath khada karein ke ye so, kya hota hai? Qibla yeah. kya hai? Yeah. Jidhar hum hum karke namaz padte hai. Please ask the question. Don't yeah. waste the time. Dubara dubara chance nahi aayega. Dubara ye class nahi aayegi, reveal nahi hoogi. Please ask that. Yeah. Okay. So direction yeah. way. Please yeah. Puchho. Okay. So, so, okay. So, so Qibla is where we face to pray. Yeah. So we face. Yeah. Qibla. Okay. So Kaaba is. Okay. So this has happened in my other class as well. Because my setting stone was my younger daughter. Yeah. So I made it according to that level. And then I realized. Okay. No, no, no. I need to step back a little bit. Huh. Um, so, okay. So Qibla is the direction. Kaaba. Where we face at the moment to pray. Yeah. Five times a day. But actually Kaaba was not our first direction. 
of prayer. The first direction of prayer was Masjid e Aqsa. You Masjid e Aqsa is in Jerusalem at the moment, where we all know that there is a big kind of a fight going on between three religions. But our sacred one of the sacred mosques is Masjid e Aqsa. Yeah. So it was our first prayer place of direction. But Holy Prophet used to say, Allah, please change this direction we want to play uh, uh, pray towards kaaba so one or day he was praying and it was a fajr prayer and all and now i want you to imagine okay this is no harry potter book so i can't really use that and i don't have that power of the speech as well so maybe you you need to visualize along with me so one or day prophet is doing a mamat a lot of sahabas behind doing prayer and all of a sudden ayah revealed and what he did is, so if you look at the board, uh, a Qibla and um, the, so our Kaaba and Masjid Aqsa is two opposite ways. So think about Kaaba is an east and uh, Masjid Aqsa is west. So now, Holy Prophet, who was doing a mama towards this side, all of a sudden, while praying, go this way. And think about the, the people, the harmony of these muslims and how holy prophet has drilled in them and how um i'm i'm just thinking focus they are in our, their yeah, prayers yeah. they all were facing this way and all of a sudden they face this way and started praying yeah. and they started doing the sajda and they as, the prophet, uh, as prophet and think about if we would be instead of now coming back again hypocrites if we would be saying first of all we said What's going on? Oh my God! Ima what happened to Imam? Why Imam is so okay? confused? Are you confused? What? Can I help you? Can I do the Imamat instead? Or I was yeah. like, this Imam is so confused. I'm not praying in any way next yeah. time from after him. Or something else. Or I'll just, I'll be saying, okay, Imam is confused. Let me pray this way. This whole mosque just Wonder turned. Wow. And then obviously this was a whole big controversial situation. So Jews started coming and I said, ah. These people are so confused. They don't know even what is the direction on the first place. What kind of divine scripture it is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows Billah was so confused in the first day he made this way. Then he said, come to this way. Now asking you the question, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala need to change? He did not have to. Uh, he always, you know, Holy, Allah subhanahu, um, um, Holy Prophet was very close to him, but he could say to holy prophet no i'm not uh, listening your dua yeah but why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala change the direction what do you think it's, um, uh, you know when um Hazrat ibrahim al -Islam and Hazrat ismail al -Islam, mm -hmm. they uh, make the kaaba they mm -hmm. they prayed there as well um so, so what about that then i mean after that after that long time it changed mm -hmm. because he made prayer there as well. So you make a good connection. So keep this in your thoughts. So one of the reason what Nazia said just is that one that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want to introduce a new nation. So for example, this is our sister circle. We thought about it and we discussed and sister Arfa said, okay, use my house as a venue. Let's say this was never happened. Yeah. Venue has not been offered to me. This such a circle will not be present at the moment yeah so it would never happen so any new thing need a physical uh, uh formation as well yeah mm -hmm. so for example i need to run a new class in my in our school in madrasa we need to think i need to think about rationally actually do i have resources means a classroom uh, empty space also do i have a teacher do I have everything? Let's call the children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I'll say, okay, you are in a waiting list. We don't have enough resources. Now, this is exactly so. New nation is going to be introduced. Who is not the from the? Um, if you think about Ibrahim as a main forefather, mm -hmm. and there was a Ishaq chain, which was Jews and Christian, mm -hmm. and there was another chain of Ismail, mm -hmm. and we are we are followers of that. Mm -hmm. So it was the introduction of a new nation. So Allah said. I'm not going to let you do the same as Jews and Christians. I'm going to make a new direction for you, new venue. Yeah. Also, Allah knows everything what's happening in the world, even much more before. It's written in his script. So this what happening now in, uh, um, uh, in Jerusalem, 
He knew that already. Okay. So think about at the moment, millions and millions of people go for the Hajj. Do you even reckon this could happen if mm. Masjid Aqsa would be mm. our first Qibla? Yeah. Because of uh, first, mm. we could never go for the Hajj. Mm. And me and um, some of us have went there. Uh, last year and we saw how difficult it is it to was. pray there yeah when you are having this clash and coughs guns and you have to show yeah. your red passport and because of the red passport maybe we were lucky yeah, enough to go lucky. but let's say if a person from asia and the no. third world country was going but there then we went uh, with uh, no, Mufti we went to no no no, no. We went with Mufti Baha, mashallah, we had no problem, we were so strong and nobody yeah. asked us nothing. But we, we, we couldn't go from uh, Pakistan. We and couldn't, I don't know, so with the, the Pakistani no, 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 passport. That day I was very, very thankful of the Allah red passport. Yes. Subhanallah, what was the advantage of the UK to go to the UK? He said, okay, I'm going to give you another one, you, where you are not going to fight. You have this as a first Qibla, so this is very holy for us, but uh, as not as holy as Masjid al Haram. Masjid yeah, so that's there. Uh, and then the ayah revealed the fools among the people will say, What has turned them from the Qibla Subhan. to which they were used to face in prayer? And also, now this also, I was thinking, Why why else? What else was? Uh, and only Allah knows what was the reason. But one of the reasons I was thinking, Isn't it because this is again Medina, where Allah is having, um, you know, girls, you know, Sif, Sif. Um, where mom sometimes making baking the cake oh, and she's oh, oh, oh. she's basically oh, no. sipping the flour, chani, 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 flour. Chani. So that sif again is Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala was holding at that time to see who is actually believer and who is the uh, hypocrite. So he was checking our by trials that okay let me see let me see well, let me see real, so the real people were one way and all the hypocrites left behind. So the people who were like lack of uh, complete trust like all of us we would be we're really shaken oh, by the way Jews make sense really yeah really yeah so the people like them Allah want to uh, co challenge them yeah okay so if this surah also have two beautiful beautiful verses again it's going back to the last um, par part of the Ju um, uh, surah Baqarah which is in Jews 3 but I want to introduce you this Again, this is called Amanu Rusul. And one of the things of this ayah is that, again, it's under the throne from, um, uh, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it has been given at the Miraj time. So when Holy Prophet ascend to Straight Barat, to, the prophet. to, to the sky, prophet. yeah, ascend to um, uh, sky to see uh, speak to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he actually gave, given to the, him as a gift so now Allah think Allah. about and just imagine someone who you love yeah and this person who you love has given you a gift so how would you think it's a, it's a very special thing yeah. so uh, this always be close to your heart and it doesn't matter if it is a gold or a silver or just something yeah very common thing could be a very special now coming back to this was a gift to our holy prophet yeah so which we is, which is closer to our heart so this should be equally important to us as well so yeah and this is again a very beautiful dialogue between allah and okay. us so first allah is saying you know i'm this i'm this i'm this and then all of a sudden we are saying you know don't give me more than what i can bear yeah so and please give me this and this and this and that the other so again it's a dua yeah, yeah. and you know the blessings of dua we are going to have a break here because I know we are going to lose the half of the audience otherwise. Okay, now we are going to talk now about the links of this in the surah. Sometimes people say that surah Bahara is quite all over the place because it has so many different topics. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things which uh, obviously I have learned um, uh, while researching that there is a beautiful connection of each thing in the surah. Yeah. Uh, when you will be going in just two, you will be understanding more in depth. But now let me introduce that. That it's a beautiful, first of all, Allah is introducing believer, non-believer, hypocrite. Yeah? Uh, with the hypocrites, with the reference of Jews mostly. Uh, and then us Muslims who consider themselves Muslim but doing all those things. Then we are Allah is also talking about the shirk, 
which is non-believers and the believers who what the characteristics of believers are then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tell us different stories yeah so there is almost a father story followed by a nation then a father story followed by a nation so allah talk about the legacy of adam uh, story we uh, do we know who is adam girls you know mm -hmm. so adam and eve story the creation of him uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told angels that i'm going to make this creation angels asked why you are making they are going to be mischievous shaitan said i'm better off i'm not going to do this uh, you know sajda and then he's he went away and this is the whole story and then obviously M M M adam coming to the world to earth and he said the dua beautiful dua rabbana zalamna anfusana wa in lam taghfir lana wa tarhamna la lanakunanna minal khasirin that we are the people who are basically um uh, doing injustice to ourselves but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala please forgive us so and then the dua has been answered now my question to you especially the young girls do you think if because this question also come a lot of time in muslims small talks that oh my god if adam who would have not eaten the uh, fruit from the tree we will be still in the jannah mm. do you think that would be the case girls mm. what do you think how many of you think we would be in jannah if adam would not have that done okay so we all are unanimously accepting that it's jannah has not been made for us it is a reward so like for example a parent give a child choices he make the choices and there is a consequence so, so modern parenting strategy is not the asian parenting strategies we used to have it the, the, if you do something beaten up ta 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 okay the modern parenting is that if you have a choice you th there are choices you make a good choice or bad choice and you will be given a consequence so if my child is not going to listen to me i'm going to take his, her mobile away mm -hmm. if your child is going to be listen i would be saying okay i'm going to give you a extra pocket money or whatever mm -hmm. exactly jannah is our reward a consequence not our main place to live in yeah because there was no then uh, reason of us being human being but then we allah was okay with the angels yeah it was all plan of allah uh, all plan of allah okay then allah talk about adam and all of a sudden allah is going back to a story of israelites that how they disobeyed obeyed mm -hmm. that obviously a story of cow came in that a simple slaughtering cow allah said slaughter the cow <laughs> what kind of color it should have what kind of age it should have what kind of size it should have what shall... so all silly questions because they don't want to slaughter on first place it's like you girls mommy says okay do the dishes mommy do i need to do now can i do half please can i not do tomorrow whatever yeah people are looking at their children me too okay so this is because they don't want to do it in any way at yeah, that moment start, let me do that. it you are just giving me a head in let me do it so that's the that's what they they used to do israelites and then obviously uh, um, they were one of the nation which was very at one stage closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a way that he, they have given the blessings nobody else has given mano salva direct food from uh, uh, jannah we don't like it we are bored no, what else no. we want something harvesting food okay get the harvesting food no we don't have enough water give me give us the water they are water each clan has its own water fountain kind of thing we are bored give us this give us this give us and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them everything to test them but they were still hypocrites yeah their their hearts were not strong enough and they always used to believe that we are the we are going to be saved in any way we are going to go in jannah in any way so can you see identification between us and them yeah. we also believe we are going to go in jannah in any way we are the saved ones we are the muslim we believe on la ilaha illallah muhammad rasulullah and that is enough for us to go in jannah who gave us this guarantee and there is a ayah where allah said have i written a treaty with you have i written a kind of a contract with you that i'm going to give you a jannah 
who said so allah is talking about jews but what he is referring <coughs> jews didn't have the quran we have yeah, so we have we have so this ayah has been teaching us teaching us um, um uh, punjabi mein kya kehte the sunani so, no 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 kind of thing no no sunana te teenu kehna hai that's what allah is saying basically he is telling us because quran has been revealed to us but he is talking about the jews as a backup that look they used to say that they are going to be saved one are they not you think you are the saved ones are you no you don't know we are not between those 10 ashara mushra those people who have been given jannah we are not not nearby to that and the way they earned they were meant to earn may not there so what but we think just la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah will save us and that is not enough in our heart really yeah and we also then give us that that, that give us the credibility to judge everyone or oh, you are going to go to hanum sister because your school of thought is not right or oh, sister you are wearing the short trouser with well, hanum you also <laughs> by the way you are definitely hanum anyway only i am going to go to jana <laughs> who said so who said no. so but we all do that isn't it sister by the way this woman is not wearing the head scarf she does not know anything about islam but then the woman who is wearing the veil might be thinking the same about me mm-hmm. because like in her taqwa i am quite behind so who am i there to judge okay. because if allah judgment comes to me not nearby so we need to ask for rah- his rahma mm-hmm. not justice never ask for his justice yeah okay then uh, so so that's one of the uh, adam story then we are talking about um uh, hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam not being a part of israeli clan so a jews problem is not and christians problem was not that we why muhammad came because that is written in the script what the problem was we are not israelites we were from um uh, yeah. other clan yeah ismail and uh, the shift of kaaba that has been mentioned new nation middle nation has been uh, mentioned and allah subhanahu wa taala has beautifully introduced that ummat e wasta the middle ummah yeah the new laws yeah, this is our name ummat e wasta everybody Ummate. should know ummat e wasta okay new na- laws what is ummat e wasta ummat mean nation wasta mean in the middle the middle nation which is no extra so why we are middle nation and yes we have isis <laughs> we have taliban don't talk about it but yes we are here we go so we are considered as a very middle uh, balanced approach yet we have extremists yet we have so modern muslims who have nothing to do with islam although allah introduces us a very yes. middle balanced yes. nation yeah mm-hmm. so that we would then surah has been because surah is starting about the guidance for the muttaqi and any everything allah introduces us now a new nation like for example if you go in a new class you will be you will be first go to that class and then all of a sudden teacher says actually in this class by the way this 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 is going to be the new rules <laughs> isn't it this new rule for example you came in my class i said this is this is going to be my contract yeah so that something like that allah subhanahu wa taala first introduce us a new nation and then he said by the way welcome to the new class but this is the laws you need to be abide by that very clearly written so all the laws which we are following the introduction is already in, written in surah baqarah Mm-hmm. and then uh, and the the it's including about the social political economical every aspect lies written why because allah is not quran is not for one time period quran is not for one specific part of the uh, approach it's about the whole life yeah allah knew that in 2022 we will be sitting here and we'll be thinking okay what it looks like if we will be having a house on the mortgage so these questions is already written there yeah and yet we are confused okay so any question girls we are too quiet any <coughs> questions speak up girls come on hands up hands up in the air 
Then we have the story, legacy of Hazrat Suleiman and Alayhi Salam, Hazrat Musa, Israelites. Again, a golden calf, sto calf story. Who is who knows golden calf story? Golden calf. Yeah, yeah, the same. No, 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 different. No, so this is the story when Hazrat Musa went to um, yeah, uh, for 40 days, uh, to, for 40 days yeah. to do the uh, um, uh, talk with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He came back and these Israelites, again, they were hypocrites. They were, their heart was not uh, strong enough. So they made this, they thought, why would we be just worshipping while uh, Musa is away to this unseen Allah, we yeah. can't see Allah, we can't talk Musa, let, let us make a golden calf. Yeah. So they so made the a golden calf yeah. of a gold yeah. and they started worshipping yeah. him. Yeah. And when the, Hazrat Musa came in, he was saying, what you are doing? And basically that shows the heart was so hypo hypocrite and so weak. weak. Yeah. And that's now my question yeah. is, how many of us have our golden calves? We all have one way or the other. Not physical golden, golden calf. I'm saying metaphorical golden calf. My work could be my golden calf. My bank and money could be my golden My children could be my golden calf. Yeah. Because anything which distract from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, there is a, there is a um, story of a sahaba. He was praying and praying and praying. And all of a sudden he went and he slaughtered his horse. And it was a white horse. You know, oh. think about white horse or the posh posh. It's like a Ferrari nowadays. So I will burn my Ferrari. I can't do that. I don't have it, by the way. But so, uh, so maybe in, in my imagination, I just burned my Ferrari. But never mind. So, so this um, Sahabi has been asked, "What did you do? Why did you slaughter your like horse? You can't even eat him. You can eat a, a calf." He said, "Because every time I was praying." I put him, you know, aside, and, um, tie him with a tree or whatever. And every time I was praying, I could not concentrate because in my concentration all the time, oh my God, my white horse. Oh my God, my white horse. My white horse. So I slaughter him. Subhan now I can concentrate. The master. Can we do that? We should do that. In my prayer, my prayers are so weak, so weak, so humble, so nothing to Subhan offer. We are just doing bank, 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 Same Sajida. as I have a big gold box put in my house and I can't go far because you're going to steal, somebody's going to steal, somebody will steal. If I don't have anything, I can go and sleep somewhere, auntie's house, Bina's house, anywhere. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So this is the thing, isn't it? The money, money, gold, everything is our, our tests, isn't it? Our golden calf to distract us from this, from from eternal world to this world yeah so we all we need to find out our golden calves maybe yeah um uh, maybe not necessarily tell me but this is something to for us to reflect on yeah uh, then we talk about legacy of Hazrat isa that he's not son of god he's the messenger yeah any questions till now yes yes why we have to think like that why we have to we are living in beautiful life we having everything we eating everything so why we have to worry that much about the hereafter about what anything. do you think girls asking you aunties asking everything. you we have everything isn't it we're enjoying best food we're enjoying best house we're enjoying eating we're enjoying everything so why we have to because we are not here for uh, uh, nazish talk is, is so boring main thing they need to know okay can i tell you what girls at the moment you might will be because we have been from this age it might will be looking alien to you this is an alien language what eternal life auntie arfa is talking about mm -hmm. we are just so young we are 12 13 14 15 maximum 20 21 22 20 25 maybe yeah mm -hmm. no and then these old ladies who are grannies or maybe with the wrinkles coming all of us are now astaghfirullah astaghfirullah come on let's go to the sister circle no i don't want to go you have to go because other auntie's children are going to go but you are i'm going to say oh, okay mommy let's go okay Same story. so so i'll tell you what when i ask the teenagers why they come to any islamic circle they say we are here because mommy and daddy left us in nowhere with you listening the boring lecture okay that's fine but okay even that is good enough why because somebody has to start from somewhere, yeah? So if where I see in your time, I'll tell you on my hand on my heart, and maybe some of aunties will be um, honest enough, 
we were much much more behind you yeah, we our anything. knowledge was much more lesser the reason is few a there was no internet global world yeah. where i can listen mufti monk or uh, no man ali khan and um, uh, umar suleiman or maybe something else yeah time of zubairi or something no nothing like that it was like okay one day i, I remember being in pakistan every every in the beginning famul quran come and then my dad used to put on oh, allah akbar for one hour this is going to go that's all nothing just quran read your recitation recitation and that's finished khalas nothing then a little bit grown up and then mom and dad brought us this translation okay you read it okay we'll read it but we can't understand what would we do no Why question uh, who is allah subhanallah subhanallah this is a wrong question <laughs> haram okay um dad i have never seen allah who is this allah akbar what kind of school they are going to this is haram again so no question asking time yeah so we were so scared of being muslim that we were just very embarrassed muslim that okay i must be because my mom and dad are muslim nothing else but it's okay because my name is muslim but it's okay so i ended up become this very defensive muslim yeah so anyone say to me oh naudzubillah no, haram 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 then i came in this world which was quite a multi cultural, cultural diverse background i thought okay what can save me because either i would be end up like them or i would end up in my own unique personality so when you are in minority you can either go with the flow mm. or you will be saving yourself yeah so i thought okay i need to a- answer those questions to myself in order to ask answer my children because when she is going to ask me who is a lie i'm going not going to say this is wrong haram you are a non believer da 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 i can't do that in this world because she if she is not going to be satisfied by me she is going to be then go and search internet and not internet every website is authentic enough to give us the answer so you as girls have much more power and control about learning islam than us that's one thing yeah. second thing is that you have the ability to ask us ability to do ask the question which we never had we were very timid and shy muslims yeah. we were not really proud to be muslim and that's really sad we were very very scared muslim and frightened muslim because mummy and daddy want to be us to be muslim yeah so that was another thing but for you this door has opened yeah allah subhanahu wa taala said you have internet go find out you can spend the whole day tick on tiktok hmm. or you can do it's something good. surfing yeah on a so one of the thing which islam talks about and other religion doesn't maybe uh, not in maybe actually for sure in detail is and this is one of the mock on holy prophet as well so um, uh, jews used to say oh your prophet even tell us how to wash yourself that's that's really sad embarrassing but actually why he told us how to wash ourselves this is a very bathroom affair stay in there because he actually simple eating is a could be a virtue could be haram mm-hmm. either way i am eating i'm with the name of allah subhanahu wa taala i'm thankful to him it's a virtue i'm eating a maybe pork it's a sin so everything i'm going in the toilet i am following the manners it's a virtue i am doing something it's a sin so every step is a one way or the other yeah so for you coming here and taking the first step first of all you need to girls give yourself a pad at the back right. even if you come with the moms yeah very good, very good. yeah if you come with the mom because moms forced you and because mom said no i'm not going to listen to you because all other aunties or children are coming and you are not going this is such an embarrassment for me you have to go it's okay but you came here yeah so this is one thing second thing is you by coming here you maybe take away one thing and think about each week if you take one thing more than enough in 30 weeks you will be taking 30 new things yeah inshallah, inshallah. so inshallah that's the important and that's what sister arfa was saying why we are here because we yes it's a alien concept that one way they we will be die and one day with there is a day of judgment and one day we are going to be in uh, this grave this seems alien because you are little but do have you heard during the covid time how many children have been died they were also the children just like you and me uh, well, not me obviously i am old but let's say consider me as 40 years back 
so so but they die they never knew that they are going to die so if you are doing this thing and god forbid and i will never want that let's say you are doing this and during that time period something happened you know where what you you are considered as a martyr because a person who is learning and while learning he die he's considered as a martyr beautiful thing beautiful. and then if you will be making intention today that i am going to learn allah that subhanahu wa ta'ala for your sake that's amazing you then even you will be gone you will be gone in a success inshallah Amen. yeah Hopefully, again, my dua would be May Allah accept this. And um, if there is a mistake, uh, forgive me. Forgive all of us. If there is anything which we have learned, that's amazing. Inshallah. Any question or we'll just wrap it around. Why do we learn something? Why do we learn something? okay so homework is one is for us to think about the our golden calves that's for us to think about for children first of all i tell kursi yeah yeah so that's one thing then one ayah maybe not in each day once in a week one ayah okay ayat al-kursi yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that's and then we need to think about what we can implement each week yeah what we can so for me last week as i said i was talking thinking about Allah has given so many blessings to Jews. They never thankful. Yeah. But we, I will try, inshallah, to be thankful what He has given us. Can I ask you one thing? Have you ever watched the documentaries of Syrians children and those old children? Have you ever seen that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the children, Syrian bhi aate hain, orphans bhi aate hain, is most um the people in Palestine bhi aate hain. Kabi dekhi hai wo wale ads? Okay, so maybe if you haven't, maybe try to watch it. But the rest of you yeah. who have watched it, those children are as beautiful as any one of they you. They are beautiful than us. Yeah. Then, but, but what is all, what? Um, and Allah loves them equally. But what their test is different, and what our test is different. Their test is they are living in this war. And in what bad your time, are, but still thankful to Allah. Allah is always praying a lot. पासपोर्ट Why not a Syrian person had it? Uh, we got a food on my plate. Why not a uh, orphan have it? Yes. I got everything in my bank: the money, the property, the everything. Why not a child in Palestine have it? Have so it. you need to think about okay. what you are getting. Okay.